Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you five ways to speed up your Mac. And while these might seem like minor settings when you first apply them, you'll be surprised at how much they actually improve the performance over time of your Mac. So the first one, and it's probably the most obvious, but it's occasionally overlooked, is you want a lot of space on your boot drive, at least 10%, ideally 20%. So if you look here, I have a 250 gigabyte hard drive. I have 70 gigabytes free. It's enough, it could be more, but the more space that you have on your hard drive, generally the faster your computer is going to be. That's pretty much kind of how it works. Uh, bottom line, that's what it is. So if you have any stuff on your computer that you don't really need or you think you can get rid of, and you know, just don't throw stuff away just to get rid of it, but you know what I mean. Get rid of it because it will speed up your Mac. And if you have under 10% of your hard drive available, you really need to do this because you'll notice extraordinary performance improvements. Now, the second tip is probably the most overlooked of them all, but it can be the easiest one of them all as well. Clean up your desktop. If you have icons scattered all over your desktop, normally I keep mine very clean as you can see here. I have one folder uh, that sits on my secondary monitor here, uh, but that's it. The more stuff you have on your desktop, the slower your computer will run because it has to render all those icons in your desktop and it slows Finder way down. So if you take all that junk in your desktop and just put it in one folder like I do, it's going to be faster, it's going to be more efficient, Finder is going to run quicker, it's going to start up way quicker. And it's probably the most overlooked and it's such a simple thing too that people probably don't even realize they should do. The third tip is repairing your permissions. So to do this you have to launch Disk Utility. So you can search for it up in spot, Spotlight. Just search Disk Utility and pop it open. Now in Disk Utility you are going to be repairing your permissions and you'll do this on your main hard drive. So I'm just going to select my hard drive here, Macintosh HD. And you can see right here I can repair my disk permissions. Now it's just one click and it'll repair. Uh, this process takes a while. You might want to leave your computer for a little while because you really don't really want to do much else while it's repairing the permissions. Um, first of all, it does slow it down while it's doing it. You might get the spinning beach ball cursor. Um, but secondly, it's just best to leave it alone while it's doing it. So, you know, budget a little bit of time if you're going to do this. Uh, but it's just a simple thing you might want to do every couple months. If there's any errors with the disk permissions, it'll just repair them all. And it should um, smooth out a lot of issues you might have with the OS. And another good tip, if you're having problems with slow login times, um, if you head into System Preferences and you click on the Accounts tab and then go under the Login Items tab in there, uh, you're going to see all your login items. And these are all the applications that run as soon as you log in. So when you type your password and hit Enter, all these things start loading. And if you notice your computer is being unresponsive for a period of time, at login, this could be a problem. If you have a lot of items in here, you um, you know, if you see any that you don't really need to start up, um, let's say for example, I don't really use Dropbox that much, so I'm not gonna you know uh, have it run on startup anymore. I can just select it, hit the minus button, and it will not start up on login anymore. And the less things you have start up on login, the typically the quicker your computer is going to log in and be ready to work. I'm not saying you should just get rid of all your login items just because it'll speed up your computer. I mean, they're nice to have. Uh, but if you really don't need ones running, why bother having them taking up RAM and processing power and things like that? Uh, it just doesn't really make sense. So they will build up over time if you install um, different menu bar applications and stuff and you just kind of forget about them. That stuff's all going to be uh, still running when you log in. And simply disabling these from running at login can really save you quite a bit of time on boot up. And speaking of taking extra RAM and processing power, Dashboard is one of the biggest, biggest resource hogs that you probably don't even realize that's on your system. Um, the more widgets you have, it takes up more RAM, and you know, just having Dashboard run it will dramatically slow on your computer um, under certain circumstances. So if you really like Dashboard, you can click the plus button down in the corner here. And maybe get rid of some of the widgets you don't use much, you know. I don't think I've ever done a Google search from Dashboard. I'll get rid of that. And, you know, maybe I, I don't really use the calculator in there either. Uh, so I can just get rid of that. But if you really never use Dashboard at all, 
and you want to get rid of it completely, uh, of course you can always bring it back, but if you want to get rid of it, you can actually disable it so that when you press the dashboard button or click on the dashboard application icon, nothing will happen. And it's not gone forever, you can just type in a command and get it back. Uh, but I'll show you what to do to disable dashboard completely. So I'm going to go up into Spotlight and I'm going to search for Terminal and open that up. And in the terminal window, I'm going to write a string of text and I'll have it spelled out at the bottom of the screen, uh, pretty big so you can read it, and I'll also uh, type it out here for you. So it is default space write space com dot apple dot dashboard oops space mcx dash disabled space minus boolean space and then all caps yes and you're going to hit enter and then you're going to type in kill all as one word space capital D O C K uh, so kill all dot hit enter again your doc is going to disappear for a minute and it's going to come back and dashboard will be disabled so if I quit terminal here and I press my dashboard button on the keyboard you can't see it but, but nothing's happening uh, I can go into my applications folder click on a dashboard right here nothing happens so dashboard's gone and what's not gone is your RAM and your processing power uh, that's all given back to you because all those widgets are not running in the background uh, taking up you know the valuable processing power you need to do actual work so those are five easy ways that you can really uh, speed up your Mac and they may not seem like much but they really add up and I also think they're probably the most five overlooked um, kind of most obvious but people never think of them kind of ways uh, to speed up your Mac and they really do help out and I find them to be really helpful on my Mac so I hope you'll find them helpful too and I hope you found this video useful thank you for watching